By the late 1980s, Kendridge's work was gaining recognition outside of South Africa, and this continued at an accelerating rate post-apartheid. What is apartheid? The word was used by the white South African Nationalist Party in 1948 to describe their new policy of harsh, institutionalised oppression and racial segregation. William Kentridge used a wide variety of artistic methods such as etching, lino cuts, charcoal drawings and short films to criticise the suppression of South Africans under apartheid. Apartheid brought a devastating blow to the economy of South Africa. During this time, the government insured land and other assets were left largely in the hands of the predominantly white elite. In 1994, Nelson Mandela became the new president of South Africa. And that was the time where the economy of South Africa gradually began to recover. During 1994 to 2007, South Africa experienced a golden time, where the average economic growth rate went high up to 3.6%, with a comparatively low inflation rate of 6.3%. So why can the South African economy enjoy such a high growth after suppression? This can be best explained by the hockey stick model. This is because apartheid policies led to insufficient investment in physical and human capital and high shares of government consumption. As a consequence, there was low productivity and inefficient use of inputs. Therefore, following this suppression, growth can be seen to rebound. However, a key evaluative point to make is that following apartheid in 1994, the vast majority of the black population was left uneducated and without desirable skills. Hence, growth is limited due to supply-side factors. Overall, South Africa is becoming an increasingly lucrative source for foreign investment, and the economic rebound can clearly be seen by the sharp rise in GDP growth. The hockey stick model, therefore, can be effectively applied to describe the history of the South African economy post-apartheid, aptly captured by Kentrick's work. <laughs>